Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Christy and my pronouns are she and her. And my name is Monkey Puppet. And we are so happy that you are joining us today. Friends, can you say hi to Monkey Puppet? Hi Monkey Puppet. So let's get started. Everybody sit down, sit down, sit down. Everybody sit down on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody sit down on the floor. Thank you. So, Monkey Puppet is all finished washing his face and brushing his teeth. And we are all snuggled into bed. And I was feeling so comfy cozy and so happy and calm and cuddly that I wanted to share all my warm and fuzzy feelings with my friends today. Every night at bedtime, as we cuddle up and before we read our story, Monkey Puppet and I each tell each other three good things that happen that made us feel good today. When we celebrate the things that made us feel good, we get to feel good all over again and double our opportunities for happiness. So Monkey Puppet, would you like to go first? What made you happy today? Okay, well, today when I was playing in the park with Gorilla Puppet, we saw three little snails on the sidewalk and we moved them into the bushes so that no one would step on them. That made me happy because I didn't want them to get hurt. So that's one. Hmm. Well, then when we got home, we had some banana ice cream. And it was so sweet and cool and creamy in my mouth. I wanted it to last forever. But then it started melting. And we had to lick up all the drips as fast as we could before they fell off. And it was like a race. And that was fun too. And I got so sticky. That was really fun. I liked that too. What's the third thing that made you happy today? Well, what about right now? My bed is soft. My body is tired from all the fun I had today. And I'm cuddling with you. Right now is making me really happy in a peaceful sort of way. I'm happy right now too. After a beautiful sunny day, I love to feel the cool night breeze blow in through the window and ruffle your soft fur. I'm going to choose right here, right now, with you as one of my good things too. What else made you happy today? Remember when we were on our way to the playground this morning and we saw lots of little apples way up high in the apple tree? A few months ago, we saw beautiful blossoms on the tree, and it was sad when they went away. But now they've been replaced with little apples. And today there was already a little squirrel climbing around in the tree, munching on apples and shaking its tail. It's so nice to see how the earth takes care of all of its creatures. That made me happy today. Hmm, and my, I know what my last happy thing is. Today in our one of our programs, one of the friends called you Monkey Pucket. She was so happy to see you and she said, hi Monkey Pucket. It was so cute and it made me smile all day and it's still making me smile. Oh yeah, I like that too. She's always so nice to me. Oh, Monkey Puppet, what would you like for your bedtime story today? Well, I really like, <clears throat> My heart fills with happiness because it's about the little important things that some families share with each other that make them happy. That's a really nice choice for a beautiful evening like this. My Heart Fills with Happiness by Monique Gray Smith. Illustrations by Julie Flett. This book is dedicated to the former Indian residential school students and their families. May you find what you seek. And to my niece, Brianna Dobmeyer, thank you for filling our family's hearts with happiness. 
for A and A and C and S. My heart fills with happiness when I see the face of someone I love. I smell bannock baking in the oven. I sing. My heart fills with happiness when I feel the sun dancing on my cheeks. I walk barefoot on the grass. I dance. My heart fills with happiness when I hold the hand of someone I love. I listen to stories. I drum. What fills your heart with happiness? So, monkey puppet, what fills your heart with happiness? Well, being gentle today filled my heart with happiness. Being brave and careful fills my heart with happiness too. Spending time in nature fills my heart with happiness. And being with my family fills my heart with happiness. But there's something making me sad too and scared. Oh, what is that monkey puppet? Well, I saw on the TV that there were some children who were taken to a very bad place away from their families and all the things that filled their hearts with happiness. It did happen to many indigenous children like the ones in our story today. It happened in a place not so far from here, not so long ago. W will it happen again? W will it happen to me? No. People are finally listening to those children and their families, and we're standing together to make sure it never happens again. Is there something I can do to help? That is a good question, Monkey Puppet. And I wondered that too. Um, Monique Gray Smith, the author of the book we read today, says that we can start by listening with our hearts, acting with kindness, and holding each other up with respect and dignity. You can do that, right, Monkey Puppet? I, I think so. Y yes, yes, I know so. I know I can. Um. Can you stay with me a little longer tonight? Of course, Monkey Puppet. Thank you so much for sharing so many of your feelings with me today. And you know, if you have any more questions like that, you can always ask me. I love you. I love you too. like Monkey Puppet is starting to fall asleep. I think it must be time to say goodbye. Our story is over. It's over. It's over. Our story is over. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Till next time. You can find links to resources about talking to your child about race, residential schools, and other difficult subjects in the description box below. Support is available for anyone affected by the ongoing effects of the residential schools and for those who are triggered by the latest reports. The Indian Residential Schools Survivor Society can be contacted toll-free at 1-800-721-0066. A National Indian Residential School Crisis Line has been set up to provide support for former students and those affected. Access emotional and crisis referral services by calling the 24-hour National Crisis Line 1-866-925-4419.